Hey, welcome, Maddox. Uh, today we're doing a review of the game Jump Force. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the good because that's a fairly short list of things. Yeah. 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 So um, first off, like it's it is fun to uh, fight as your favorite characters. Like in the trailers, you saw the big three coming out. So like One Piece, um, Naruto, and Dragon Ball course and there's there's few other anime in there that i've seen most most all of them a couple i don't really know much about mm -hmm. but uh there, there's some pretty good characters to play as um i think uh one of the things going into this game you know there's a lot of people that are fans of these shows but uh you know i think a lot of anime gamers uh a lot of the i guess like biggest games that they're really given is fighters yeah. and like arena fighters kind of like this uh so like one of the positive things about it is that it's easy to jump into uh the controls are uh simple and easy to learn uh that's kind of a downside too because you know we'll get into that but uh you know at least getting into it it's very easy to pick up especially yeah. if you're not somebody that has played a lot of fighting games uh, although I will say you're if you've played other fighting games that are really popular you can master this pretty well Yeah, you'll get a bit pretty quick. It's it's not hard um, mm -hmm. And another thing that was pretty pretty cool about it, I thought was when you start the campaign you can customize your character and there's a lot of nods to uh, Popular anime characters like certain like hairstyles and certain tattoos mm -hmm. and scars So that was kind of cool to see too and it's kind of nice uh, that they give you Every little option that some of the you know main characters of, of the roster have, because if you necessarily don't want to make your own character, you could basically just remake your yeah. favorite one. If it'll you it'll look to. a little off, like kind of like like a, the rest of the like game. an off brand, you know, Naruto or off brand Goku, something like that. It should fit perfectly with the rest of the. So pretty cool. Yeah, pretty much fits the cutscene. <laughs> Which uh, with speaking that, of we'll that, jump yeah. into the bad, and there's a little more of that, unfortunately. So. Um, like we said, the cutscenes, the animation is just, it's not great. It's kind of hit, hit or miss. Uh, like in the very beginning, it opens okay with like Frieza attacking a city and your character just being there. Yeah. And you're just in the action. It looks okay until they get close to the characters and you notice, you know what? Their facial expression never changes. <laughs> so it's, it's, it feels a little rushed. That's true. Is what I'm saying. Um, there's frame rate drops, and that that's rough, especially during parts of the gameplay, like when you're using yeah. superpowers. And uh, you know, a lot of things that kind of go in with that is like you know, not only are you slowed down when you're actually playing the game, but you're slowed down like even getting into the game because it, yeah. it has insanely long cuts or uh, loaded times. Yeah. That. You know, it's not really great that you spend like maybe five minutes sitting there waiting to get into a match, and then when you get into the match, it's like you're just faced with all these flaring weight drops. It's like, oh great, I spent yeah. ten minutes to, you know, not only find somebody online and then load into it, but then, you know, I couldn't even play basically. Yeah, and these things seem like fairly simple fixes, but overall I think the game just kinda has a feeling like it was rushed. Like they just didn't take time to polish it up. Like the the cutscenes could have looked a lot better, that mm. even though the art style is a little funky. I don't love the art style they went with, but it, it could have worked better. Um, and then again, the, the load load times. Like I've seen much bigger, more you know complicated games run with like minimal load times. So this was a little disappointing. Um, and back to like the fighting. Like we said, it's easy, but it's shallow. And yeah. if, if I mean, it's good for people that are new to fighting games. You can jump into it easy and be pretty good at it. Like you can win. It's just if you're like a fighting game fan, you'll get bored really fast. Like I kind of, I kind of quit wanting to play it after about five hours of it. Yeah, because uh, Graham actually uh, bought the game, so he played through most of the story. Uh, yeah, sorry, Graham. Yeah. You took one for the team. Yeah. I did. But uh, my first like you know experience with the game was when he brought it over so we could all play it, and uh, it was one that we did like a few matches. But uh, and you know it takes like in the first match, I don't think you really. Uh, master it on the first time because no. you know you'd have to be a pro to do that but uh, it is something that you know maybe after two or three matches you've done it pretty well and unless you're you know going through still with different characters it's gonna be something that you get bored with pretty fast yeah especially since actually a lot of the characters there's three main fighting styles and a lot of the characters same have kind of the same feeling as fighting I think the biggest difference I found between characters was in their superpowers because mm -hmm. you'll either you'll either have like a more ranged character where you can like throw projectiles or shoot people or something like that mm -hmm. and then you have like you need to be close up like you need to be able to grab the other person 
And that, that was kind of disappointing. There's just not a lot of variety. Although it is kind of cool to see some characters like famous moves. Like obviously you have like a yeah. Kamehameha from Dragon Ball and you have like Lightning Blade with like Kakashi and stuff like that. I think the best thing about that was, uh, you know, seeing characters that haven't had a game before or haven't had, you know, a, maybe a big scale game yeah. or one that seems, you know, at least appears to have a good budget in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's really cool to see those, you know, you got like um, uh, Jojo from that show and that source material. I'm not going to say, because it's just yeah, redundancy. Yeah, it's an answer, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, you got Fist of North Star, which, I mean, we did that have a game. Cool to see. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to see it in the, the uh, fighting arena. Deal. And you got a couple other ones in there. And so that was really nice to see those special moves uh, in yeah. particularly. But that kind of that kind of leads into our last like my biggest problem with it like because like we said you can't have fun with the fighting it's just mm -hmm. after you play it so many times with different variations of teams you want more characters to play as yeah where like when you first start the game up and i didn't buy the um the ad apparently there's a pack that gives you extra characters which i didn't feel like spending extra money on the They're game probably just one piece dragon ball or yeah it's probably just it's characters. probably just the three big anyway yeah. but um i, I think they could have done a better job with the roster of characters because for the big three, you've got like about six, I think, like five or six yeah. characters for each. Was At least, like, I think, double, more for them. Double. Yeah, the you almost have ones. double of the big three roster than you would the other anime that aren't as popular. Like, um, My Hero, when you first load the game up, you only The big have... three are not in this, by the way, for those My Hero fans, but uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. want to clarify that. Yeah. But, um,. You only have the main character from that show, and it's kind of disappointing, mm. especially with like the big shows they have in here. Like, I'm a big Naruto fan. That's my favorite anime on on that list. That's in this game, pretty much. And they have an amazing, um, they have an amazing roster of characters. Even the secondary characters are interesting and have cool powers. It's just they're not there. Yeah. So you're kind of limited. I think, uh, I mean, I won't go too much into it because I'm sure if you guys have listened to our podcasts or anybody that knows me, I've spoken yeah. a lot about this, so I'm yeah. going to rain back. But, uh, you know, basically the same thing. I would have liked to seen either more franchises introduced or at least had it to where they all across the board had the same amount, uh, at least from launch. Yeah. So, like, you know, everybody, every franchise has at least like three or four. And let's call it that. And then, you know, if you wanted to add more of the characters, you could do that in like DLC packs or whatever. Yeah, that would have been road. nice. And uh, free DLC packs too. <laughs> yes. Or, you know, just be like uh, uh, Smash Brothers and just have 50 characters. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Yeah. I, I think ultimately, like, it, it you know, it, it's a decent game for a short amount of time. So we're going to give it a score of five overall. Hmm, I like it. Yeah. You know? Cause it's like it definitely could have been better. I would recommend waiting till the price drops a decent amount to get this one, mm -hmm. unless you're just a diehard fan of all those animes. So yeah, then you can try it. If it's a sh if you're a fan of of uh, one of the shows that hasn't got a game or at least a good one, then you know you probably will enjoy playing that character. But me personally, I wouldn't recommend somebody paying o over. Thirty dollars for. Yeah. I think this is something that you know. If you can buy it for like ten dollars, that'd be great. Yeah. Don't pay more than twenty. I don't think. Yeah. Because there's go. not much substance. I don't yeah. think you're gonna play the campaign really. No. Nope. You will play this with just your friends and or against the computer. That's another thing we'll touch on real quick before we wrap this up. You will notice we didn't really touch the campaign. It's because uh, I don't like it. It's very bland. There's nothing to talk about because it pretty. It hurt much, my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it hurt my feeling because it basically <laughs> copies Dragon Ball Fighters campaign as far as like characters being evil and you beat the shit out of them to make them good and get them on your team and like we've seen this before yeah and a lot of fighting all of the dialogue is very boring and the story just does not impact you at all mm -hmm. so i found myself skipping anything i could skip so that's i mean overall you know score five do what you want with it i'm done playing the game Smash. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Cole. i'm done playing the game uh so that's jump force for you yep you should jump on out of here yeah, we're going to jump on out of here. Throw it in the garbage. In the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Well, that will conclude uh, this review. Be sure to check out some of our other stuff. We got more game stuff.